Hi guys, so recently I bought a new camera, which is in fact not a new camera, but an old used A6000 from Sony that you might have seen in the title of this video. So what better way to test out the camera and get used to it by going out in my old neighborhood at Nørrebro and take some street shots with uh, this camera. I also bought a 35mm 1.8 used lens to the camera. It was quite funny here at Nerbo. I found it a bit more challenging to take photos of people walking by than what I normally do. For instance, you have these two bossy women coming up here and it would have made a great street photo, I think with these uh, girls in the in the frame. The same goes when I passed the street here, there were two women sitting in a hammock of some sort or a swing. And it looked really cool, but yeah, I didn't really feel like uh, taking the shot. So the reason I started from here was that I had this uh, yellow mall in my mind and I actually wanted a photo like this with a person walking by. I really liked the colors here and yeah, and just the framing with the girl here, so, so that was nice to get. So as usual, when you start taking street photos, it's just about getting some snaps into the fingers, because at least for me, I need to get the creative flow starting and starting to, to see composites and, and angles and stuff like that. So yeah, I just snap away. I'm not sure if you can hear this here on YouTube, but there was a really big explosion when I walked by here. And just a minute after this, a big group of young guys ran across this uh, plaza and uh, ran away. They probably did something they shouldn't have done. So even though I've been using Sony for a long time and this is a Sony camera, I did find it a bit challenging to use this camera. Uh, first of all because it has fewer buttons and the buttons are placed a bit different than my full frame camera from Sony. But also I did lack some features that I really like. For instance the exposure wheel uh, is not on this model and also the ability to touch focus on the screen. The touch screen is really something that I use quite a lot. And this camera does not have that, so sometimes I did not get the, the shots in focus that I wanted. So in one of my other videos I have shown how you can fit more of your scene into a photo by taking a couple of horizontal taken photos and merging them into one photo with a 4x5 crop. And I actually did use this method quite a lot here on this walk because the 35mm is equivalent to 15mm so I got a bit close to a couple of my scenes that I was shooting. So if you have been to Nerbo, this cemetery which is a bit famous I think, at least in Denmark, because H.C. Anderson has been buried here. So I think this is also a big uh, tourist uh, spot to come and see. So this photo I really like, but I think it would have been a bit more interesting if a person had been inside the, the door here. But yeah, you cannot get it how you want always. I should have waited perhaps, but I didn't really feel like I had the time with the sun going down. So if you are still watching this video and you hear me talking now, I will just take a brief moment to ask you to subscribe and leave a comment and like this video because it really means a lot to me. It takes a lot of time to make these kind of videos. I would appreciate if you would return the favor by do something for me on this channel. So thank you.
So I said before here on the channel that I think street photos get a lot better if you have a person in the frame. And I still mean that, but I guess that this is still a, a good photo, but again, it would have been more pleasing to look at if it had had a subject here in the frame. But just look at these streets and this light, it's really beautiful. I really like this uh, area of Copenhagen. Again, another example, this little spot here outside this pub or cafe was really nice, but it would have been a bit more interesting if it had had a person sitting here as well. Walking down this street, it would have been nice to have had a bit of sun also. To have gotten a bit of this uh, golden hour light, but I was a bit too late here, so this is more blue hour light, but it still looks great. But yeah, I'm pretty sure the sun would have been coming down the street here, and I'm, I'll bet it would have been a really nice cast of uh, light and shadows here. So yeah, to those of you who doesn't understand Danish, this is like a trust booth where you can buy something and pay with your phone using something called mobile pay in Denmark. And then you can take what you pay for without having uh, to talk to a safe person or a cashier or anything like that. So yeah, trust booth.
So as usually when I'm out taking these street photos, at uh, this point my Osmo Action Cam runs out of juice and uh, yeah, I still have to go and finish up my walk. So I of course kept taking photos when I fell for it. So you will get the last photos here. So thanks a lot for watching this video. If you liked any of the photos or just the video in general, please make sure to give a like or leave a comment or subscribe on YouTube. That will really mean a lot to me. Anyway, I will see you around. Bye.